I think as therapists and as Western trained, it's hard for us to get out of that mindset that it's about the muscles. And it's not. The more we can release our muscles and let go of them and hang them on the structure, but then we don't allow that structure to collapse. So the structure is the fascia. And the fascia has all of these strands and they're actually monofilaments. They, they're tubes. And the nutrients run through the tubes and they cross communicate and talk to each other. So it, it creates a network. It looks like a network and it is a network. It's a mesh. And that mesh can hold our system up. So when we're on the yang side of things and our ex exoskeleton, what I'm calling our external, our posterior part, we're engaging against gravity. We're not working with gravity, we're, we're working against gravity and our own alignment. But once we move into the softer side and we can start to release more, then the fascia can start doing its job and deliver more power. So trying to not think about what muscles are firing, what, you know, what needs strengthening all that. I mean, it's good to know and be that and keenly aware of your body. But eventually, by the very virtue of doing these standing meditation and all of these postures and that mindset that we're thinking about, your body's going to self-correct. It's going to start to return to its original design. I mean, when I walk, I'm, I'm stunned. It, power's whole premise is, is stop fighting. Stop fighting. And he doesn't just mean in Tai Chi and martial arts and all of that, but just in general, just stop fighting. So when I'm walking my dog, I just cannot get over how much tensed up I am, how much muscles tense up. And it sneaks back in and I, oh my God. That's why I like the shaking because it really kind of lets us be playful and let go. And then we, whew, we can let those muscles go. And then once we've let the muscles go, then we inflate those ball bearings in between your joints. And that's what creates the structure on which you can hang the muscles. So then I'll walk and I'm all floppy and walking and connecting the crown of my head. So this is something you can practice throughout your day and I'm connecting the crown. You gotta have it connected. And he calls this our antenna. And I love that concept, right? Because then it puts us outside. So your antenna, one millimeter above your head. So connect your antenna and then let everything hang. And so while I'm walking, I'm trying to do that. It lasts about 10 seconds and then whoop, there I am back up here, disconnected to the antenna. And then I have to release it again, connect my antenna and walk. So something for you to try, release, Put your line on the yin side of things and connect that antenna. And while you're doing your standing meditation, this is a practice field to experiment, play around. Even if you're in standing meditation, play around, move your line out here and then move your line inside. And you don't have to move, but just put your awareness there and feel the difference. And you'll start to feel the difference in your energy. And when you start to feel the energy flowing or you feel floaty, then you're in the right place. Yeah. Good. Oh, love this stuff. Thank you so much for being interested in it and let me talk about it and share